this is Josie. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys and welcome once again back here to my channel. It is myself Josie from AJ Creations. I want to welcome you back one more time. And if you are new to my channel, I would love for you guys to hit that subscribe button right next to the notification bell so you guys know when I upload another awesome video. So today we're going to work on a centerpiece. It's going to be a tutu um, themed inspired centerpiece. I know that I like to do a lot of centerpieces with boxes and I like to keep my videos short. But according to my, my YouTube um um stats i guess you can say you guys actually enjoy these very long videos and i'm not saying this video is going to be long but it is going to be detailed so i can't wait to start i hope you guys like it um a lot of the stuff will be fast forward though because it is time consuming the centerpiece when you know you guys usually know that when i start a centerpiece I do a mock up first so that way when I work with you guys, I know exactly where to go and how to go to about to it. So let's get started. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a disc when um, these you can find at the Dollar Tree and they're usually two for a dollar. But I went ahead and painted it um, pink and you guys know that to paint this i always use a sponge brush and the paint and um i think is this the paint it's usually apple barrel that i use and um you can find that at walmart at michael's i believe so but i usually go to walmart when they have a sale for i think they're two for five right now and i stock up as you guys can tell <laughs> I stock up on my colors because I go through it a lot. So I went ahead and painted it and it got me to be this baby pink. The next thing I'm going to do is I went ahead and bought um, paper and it's polka dot paper because I want the top to be polka dotted. Now, if you guys just want to paint the side of it, like, you know, because you guys know you're, we're covering the top, then so be it. It you know you do what you got to. But me, I personally like painting the whole thing. And I don't know if you guys have noticed that, or, or if you guys are new to the channel, I love these scissors. These scissors are like, I mean, they're so well made. So and everything I use in this video, I will absolutely link it down below. In the description box so what I do right now is I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to glue it on top like this I usually have my portable uh, a glue gun but I did I did <laughs> I did leave it in my car since I was using it and the portable um, glue gun that I use, I do have it down in the description box as well. I love it because um, it's a USB connector kind of um, uh, glue gun. So then I can uh, put it into my adapter in the car. And my car is the kind of car that even though the car is off, it still charges. And I love it. And I work on my centerpieces or anything I can do in the car while my daughter is in cheer practice. So that's a little bit of what how I keep busy um, when I'm doing other stuff. So this is how it's going to look. And next, I'm going to grab this kind of rhinestone. You guys know that I do buy by, by this big chunk. And then I go ahead and cut it. And then I'm going to cut it one more time so I can have a strand. And... Um, These, I love, they kind of look like, I think they look like flowers. So this is why I love this kind of rhinestone versus the other ones you might um, see me do a lot with. Um, they're like just straight white. Um, you can use that too as well. But for this one, 
I'm going to go ahead and glue it around the edges. And this is why I went ahead and painted. Now, if you don't want to paint and you want to keep it white, um, go for it. You know, this is what I tell you guys always. It becomes your project once you start personalizing, um, personalizing it the way that you want it. I'm going to go ahead and then get to the end and then I cut and this is how it looks. Ooh, how pretty. Now, after I do this, look at that. That's so nice. I'm going to put it to the side because we're going to work on the tutu part of the centerpiece. Now for this, what I did was I Googled images. I Googled um, onesie outline. I got the one I liked, the way, one of the outlines of the onesies. I went ahead and printed it on gold car stock and then I went ahead and cut. I already started on one side. I'm going to cut two because it's going to be double sided. So you don't, see, you know, so the back also has um, the tool. So I already started on this one and I'm going to show you how you go about. So it's going to be two and then I'm going to use this kind of tool. You can use any tool you want. This is a little bit more of a baby pink and it is see through. So I'm going to cut a couple just because, um, I want to, I'm going to layer them so they can have that puffy look, but all I'm doing is, as you guys know, I don't measure, but I'm going to eyeball where I want, how big I want my squares, I guess you can say. And I'm going to do about six. Let's see if six is enough. And these, this, um, stool, um, you could also get it at Walmart if you want. Everything else I'm going to link through Amazon. I love Amazon because I am a Prime member and usually I get them the next day. So if I order, let's say I know I need to order something for a centerpiece. If I order tonight, I usually get it by tomorrow night. And um, I don't have to worry about whether I'm going to have time or not to go to Walmart or Michaels or whatnot. So once I have my little square, I'm going to get the top and I am going to shrivel. So it's going to look like this. So on top, I'm going to like bring it together like so. And then on my, on my um, cutout that I cut, I'm going to add just a dab of glue like that. And then this, I'm going to go ahead and put the part that is scrunched up. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Now, for this part, if you want to use a stick or something, you're more than welcome to. I don't um, get burned by the, the glue gun anymore. So, I can do it with my fingers. But if you guys want to, it does burn, guys. So, use a stick. So, that's the first one. So, I'm going to go ahead and do it all across. And if I have to layer it to get the fluffy look, I'm going to. And then I'm going to cut the bottom. I'll show you guys in a bit so I get this look. So right now, so I don't bore you. Like I said, I feel like if I talk a lot, you guys are going to be like, hurry up. We're trying to get to the centerpiece. So um, when you guys see me right now by the power of YouTube, I'm going to have finished this roll. Again, I'm going to scribble it up before I do um, fast forward. I'm going to shrivel it up, put some glue on the cardstock paper, and glue it down. And it is a little bit long right now, but I'm going to show you how I cut. So let me go ahead and finish um, gluing everything down, and then I'll show you how to cut. Okay, so there it is. I went ahead and layered it a couple of times. It did take all six of it, so as you can see, that's how it looked right there. Do not worry about the, the topping like that, guys. I'm going to show you how we are going to cover that. But now what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of pull like so. Kind of like hold it all together, bring it all together. And then I'm going to cut kind of like a haircut. 
so i'm going to go ahead and cut so at the bottom now it looks even and now it looks like this one so so it could be even more i'm going to put them back to back like so and see how that's going to look oh so cute guys so cute now i tend to kind of go like an angle and it is kind of like a haircut i'm like okay this one's a little bit longer than the other one let me cut you off and like i said when you have real a really good pair of scissors like these it is just so easy to do so you see that Ooh, how pretty now comes the part where we covered um before i do i'm going to go ahead and take my dowel and i'm going to see how high I want it to be from the bottom so if I end it right there as you guys can see and put it down I feel like that's gonna be that'll be a good good place to put so what I'm gonna do is put my thumb and add the glue like like that and then I'm going to line it up to that right there and give one of these. So now it looks like that. So now you know why we went ahead and did it um, double. We printed two times because I really feel like this is such a cute centerpiece. I don't want the back to just stay like that. So that's what comes the second piece. So the second piece is going to go like that. And now you don't see the dowel. So pretty much what you do is um, I'm going to add glue outlining the onesie. But not all the way to the edge, guys. Because when we start um, putting it together and squeezing down, the glue will, you know, squeeze out. And we don't want it to run out. So I'm going to line it up. Oh, perfect lining up good job Josie and just squeeze it on the edges squeeze 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 kind of reminds me of a gordita and it looks like that look at how cute that looks so now that we have it assembled like that now we could take a ribbon and I'm gonna take this ribbon right here this is called dusty rose so I'm gonna take the ribbon I'm gonna see how, um, I'm gonna line it up right here in the middle. Make sure this seam ends up in the middle because I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cover that seam. But once this goes around like this, after I glue it down, you see how it's gonna look like that? So then it looks like the waistband of the tutu. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm going to, so that's what it is, the seam in the back, you see that, it's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put glue on top, right here, and then glue the ribbon down. Right on top, where, where you'll see the, the um, what is that called? Bumps that the tutu made on top, so then, and I go around like that. Now you don't need it on this on the back side, okay? It's only gonna be on the on the back side, the front. You're just going to cover it up because when you come back to the front where you added the glue, it meets together that way. That one is smooth like that. <gasps> How cute! <laughs> Even though I really did this. You know, like I said, I did a mock of it to see how, you know, it will end up in the best way of doing it. I still get amazed of how cute. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so, because that seam stayed right there and we don't want it to look like that, what we're going to do, we're going to make a bow. And we're going to just make your, your simple bow. If you guys know how to make any better bows than I do, go ahead and do it. <laughs> Um, but usually when I do my bows, it's just, you know, your simple, like you're tying your shoe kind of bow. And let's 
we're going to cut like at an angle. And it looks like that. So that's going to be my bow. And we're going to put it on this side. And we're going to put it on the back side. Two bows like that. So now it looks like it's just part of the centerpiece. But in reality, you're covering the seam. So let's go ahead and add the bow here. So I can cover that seam. Oh my goodness, too cute. So then I'm gonna make another bow and put it on the other side as well. And then we're gonna decorate the onesie because it's not done yet. So this is how I make my bows. And then we cut at an angle again. That and then that will go on this side. So not only did we cover it up where we put the tool, we covered up the seam, and now it just looks flawless. This is one side, this is the other side. How gorgeous does it look, guys? I'm like super excited. Okay, now this is where it be, be, you know becomes your idea. If you want to put um, you know two buttons coming down like that, that's up to you. If you want to put the white pearls that you usually see me putting on the other center pieces, that's up to you. Whatever you want to do, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the pearls on top, and then one of this so it, one of these so it could look like a button. So you guys didn't see it, but I had to get up and get it. So this is the roll I also get. And you see how it's flat like that? So that helps me out because it doesn't get lumpy. I used to do the lumpy one, and it was just too much of a hassle. So let me see if this is long enough. I'm going to cut. Um, it looks like it is. So I'm going to cut, cut like that a little, like, what do you call it? sample of it and I'm going to cut two because I'm going to need two and I'm just going to glue around it okay so I'm going to go ahead add my glue and then I just place it on it and cut when you need to so I'm going to cut. Oh! <laughs> and now it looks like pearls. That is so cute. Okay, so I'm going to do it to this other side. Like so. And then I'm going to So now both sides have the pearls. Isn't this the cutest thing? And like I said, I'm going to take um, my strand that I had already cut and I'm going to cut it individually now instead of, you know, like I did for the bottom. And I'm just going to add a button right there in the middle. But you know what? Maybe I should add two. Let me see. Yeah, let's do two. So I'm going to add two buttons to both sides look like you know she, she it was a bling bling onesie so I'm gonna go ahead and add my glue where I want to place those buttons ready guys <laughs> ready for a how cute number I don't know what 
Look at that. Oh, and it's just looking so nice. So then I'm going to do that the same on the other side. This is why we went ahead and did two because I guess I, 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 I really looked at the centerpiece and I said it just can't be single sided like I usually tend to do my other centerpieces. So this is just too cute. And look guys. Ready? Look how cute that looks. So it has its pearls, its tutu, and its ribbon. Now I'm going to go ahead and find the middle of my round styrofoam and then just okay, so I'm gonna find the middle and then we're going to try to attempt to stab oh there it goes so now it's in you guys see so far how cute this looks and you guys know that what we don't want is people to be you know pick it up and say oh how cute and then you know it comes out so just to make sure we're gonna add a little bit of glue i know usually i like to add a lot of glue to my center pieces when i do the square and the boxes but because this one is um it'll come out you know like i said because it's it's i'm gonna add just enough to hold it to hold it down like that I'm loving it and now we're not done we're going to go ahead I'm gonna grab my my flowers and I think it'll be really cute if I just add them at the bottom randomly so we're going to go ahead and cut some of those from the stems and then I'm just going to add at the bottom. So I think I want to do one over here. And no particular order or, you know, any pattern. I just think that it's going to look really cute. I'm going to add them at the bottom. I have seen centerpieces where they add shoes at the bottom. But that is, I'm letting you guys know right now, that is extra work because you have to assemble the shoes and then, um, you know, make them look cute and, and, um, it's a lot of work. So I'm going to go ahead and add it at the bottom. Oh yes. I love it. I love it. And. I, my friends, should be done with my centerpiece. Oh, I love how it turned out, guys. It is super, super cute. Um, like I said, I, these, this is just an idea of what you can do. If you want to go ahead and make the shoes, go ahead and make the little shoes, add them at the bottom. If you want to add tool coming out of it, it's your prerogative. You do whatever you want. This is just my version of this cute, cute tutu centerpiece. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, usually I don't like my videos to be long, but obviously you guys enjoyed it. And I'm very, very thankful for you guys. We are almost at 5,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Don't forget also to go on over to our family YouTube channel, which is also down in the description, and follow my husband, my, my daughter, and my son, as well as myself. And everything on social media that i um that i have will be down in the description box thank you guys one more time 5,000 subscribers i remember when i was at 50 subscribers and i was beyond excited so 5,000 is definitely definitely a blessing thank you so much for staying with me to the end of this um centerpiece i hope you guys like it if you guys ever do something and follow my instructions. Don't forget to tag me at AJ Creations, hashtag AJ Creations, and I can feature you guys on my Instagram. To then, I hope you guys enjoy this video. To the next one, bye guys.